On my mama, man, size 16 is hard to cop. It's Bo Kicks. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bo Kicks. Back with another unboxing. Really, uh, just another look, but an unboxing. I unboxed it on the SHPN show Soul Center that we had just this following uh, weekend. I think it was the first August 1st, uh, this last Saturday. Um, pretty entertaining live, man. Thank you everybody for stop, stopping through the chat. It's definitely like a, a six man on a basketball team. We definitely need a job support, man. It just makes everything more interesting. Uh, people jumping in and out, coffee with the foe, homegrown kicks. Uh, my boy Alias showed up. Thank you, brother, for showing up for that. Um, e money as always, man, for the continued support. Uh, JC Kicks, OG Kicks, McFly, man. Uh, a lot of guys being there. Who else? Why so? Always showing love, always showing support. A lot of guys in there. If I forgot anybody, man, I apologize. I think Jeezy showed up too today, or that day. What's today? Sunday's today. So that was yesterday. But man, thank everybody for all the support. Greatly appreciate all you guys. Um, also, if you guys didn't get a chance, please check out my rebuild Black Wall Street Challenge. Uh, the July 2020 uh, pickups should be up for this month. Uh, I'll be working on August pickups. And again, uh, just to reiterate, the massacre in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that happened in 1921. Next year will be 2021, 100 years. You know, uh, since that happened, let's do something special, man. Let's let's rebuild economic structure for uh, black people. You know what I mean? Let's support black businesses. And let's uh, allow for our people to grow uh, a substantial mark in economics so that we can be, if you're not gonna respect this, for being human beings, just give us our natural respect, then uh, we gonna have to show you that we could be a force. You know what I mean? We could be a force um, as intellectuals, we could be a force as businessmen, and uh, a contributing asset to this country like we always are. So we're gonna have to show y'all. But again, check that video out if you don't get a chance. Back to this though. Uh, another Iverson, man, like I said, I've been on I've been on the, the, the grind with these, man. Uh, my eye and my uh, attention is on Reeboks. Nike, when it came to that Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2, kind of gave me some salty feelings towards them. Not that I'm not gonna deal with them anymore. In fact, there's a lot I gotta go back and grab. But for the moment, I'm happy picking up some Reeboks. And we are gonna get into this one. This was a collab with Bait. The question is, Colorway is black, white, gold they say, and gray. It makes no sense why they say gold, but whatever. And uh, the Reebok uh, bait collab. Like I said, the bait snake. Um, I did some, you know, whenever you buy from StockX or Go, you should always do some legit checks. So I did some legit checking. Uh, as many reference videos as I, as I can find, as many reference photos as I can find, and something kind of bothered me. One, this tag uh, wasn't on pairs that other people received. Two, up in this corner here was like a, a sticker uh, that Bait had listed that kind of showed, um, I guess, the quality of the materials that were in the box. So. Being that those were missing, it kind of made me kind of suspect. So I did some research on this because I I didn't buy a lot of Reeboks back in the day. Well, way back in the day, I'd say, you know, in my teenage years. But my early adulthood, nah, not really. So I missed the whole Reebok uh, Reserve kick. And that's what this is. Reebok Reserve, you know, um, a dope initiative that Reebok had instilled probably in 2010 going on 
or maybe a little later than that, whereas they were going to introduce a lot of their old classic silhouettes, reintroduce them, and uh, with with new uh, flair, quality, and just like, you know, um, bring back some of the old school flavor that they had once. The question, of course, is one of those. It's one of the best shoes they ever put out. But, um, and while I'm speaking about this, hopefully I'm showing you a couple of pictures of the Reebok Reserve. Uh, so after I figured that out, looking at how the stitching is for this pair, looking at where everything's supposed to hit, I kind of figured it out. Uh, and it looks good to me. Um, we're gonna pull these out as we always do. Another thing that kind of tripped me out too, is it came with extra laces. And what I noticed about everybody else who got their pair from bait, they didn't have, there was no mention of any red laces. Crazy thing about these joints too, that I really thought was dope. First of all, I'll never put these in here because it doesn't, <laughs> I mean, you could put red laces in, but why? You know, there's, there's literally no more red anywhere else. But I don't know if y'all can see that. The, ends of the laces are written with bait on them. I don't know if y'all can see that. Try to roll them slow. I thought that was fire. Um, thick rope laces. Hey, maybe I'll have another pair of irises that I can use them on, some bait laces. But, whatever. Um, we'll leave it like, like this, I guess. And let's go ahead and get into these things. Um, please also understand that I had to pull the laces apart. I was checking out a lot of stuff on these. You know, when you do a, uh, I haven't really thrown my feet, but when you do a, a legit check, you're checking out the insole, you're checking out everything, you know what I mean? So, anyway, bam. You know, the Reebok, Question Mid, Bait Collab um, on this thing, on that ass. Uh, starting at the sole, we have there a smoky, uh, see-through, you know, clear sole. You got a Reebok written on the bottom, you know, going down towards the tip of the toe, towards the back of the heel. Well, cut short, kind of in the middle. You got that uh, Vector Reebok symbol right there. Inside right here, you get a little glimpse into the Hexalite technology. And then um, on the sides here, the hex like technology as well. Um, that pretty much sums up the bottom of the shoe going to the midsole. Uh, kind of like a, a white glossy hit. And it's glossy because I think they sprayed uh, some type of glow in the dark type paint over the top of it. Uh, we'll check that out a little later. I'm going to start at the upper here. It's a suede panel. It's got like perforated hits in it, which is kind of silly because I think be behind those perforated hits is more of this snake material that you see all the way on the top of the upper there, you know. Um, patent leather on this little hit right here. The, the Reebok Vector sign and cut out instead of actually stitched because what that allows it to do is show snake skin behind there. Also hear that the snake skin on each of these pairs is a little bit unique to every pair. My daughter's crying. I kind of hate when my daughter cries, man. Not because it's like loud, but it just makes me worry about her a lot. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that snake skin is, I hear, unique. Up here, you got the same type of suede that's on the bottom panel right here. Uh, kind of towards the back of the heel. We'll talk about this in a minute. Rolling around to the toe. Paddling on that toe box. You know, the, the Reebok Question Mid taking his inspiration from the Jordan 11, uh, something that I guess Iverson wore a lot in Georgetown. I wasn't turned on to college basketball as much back then. I knew of Iverson, but you know, he really woke that ass up when he got to the league. So, uh, found that out, that little factoid out, just watching other people's videos. So I'm not gonna jack some information I got somewhere else and pretend like I'm the one who knew but uh, rope laces going all the way up, up the uh, tongue. The tongue actually being all sway too with the perforated hits. Again, you can feel from the back, the perforations don't go all the way through. So 
I think it's just a design and not really anything functional. Rolling to the medial of the shoe, pretty much the same as the other side, even when it comes to this vector with the cutout, the snake behind it, same shit. Uh, glow in the dark should be here. Uh, that The lace loops for the laces going all the way up is, it actually doesn't read Reebok like it normally does, which is a little different. Um, and that's okay, you know what I mean? It's half the time you can't even tell. You gotta look at it real close to see it says it anyway, so who cares, right? Um, I'm not tripping. And rolling to the back, you see bait stitched on top of this snake skin right here, this panel here. Um, at the bottom, they blacked that out completely. I feel like they missed right there because they could have at least threw like the question logo or Iverson's number three right there just to add another touch, but just to simply black it out, it's like, you missed the opportunity for sure. Uh, the inside sole, I can actually show you and I normally don't like to, um, but hopefully y'all can see. But the inside sole has bait all the way down at the bottom there. I'll try to get a picture of it to show it a little bit better. Um, hopefully y'all can see that. Roll it. Hopefully you can see it says bait. But yeah, at the bottom there. So dope pair in my opinion. Put these laces and tucking behind. Right here. And like I said um before, somebody let me know in the comments if you guys know for a fact that they came with red laces. I don't think they did. I think that's just something a little maybe when it came to the, the Reebok. Uh, reserve it wasn't really released so much in a base store so they maybe had a few extras um, I don't know it's kind of tough this this patent leather here I gotta get a couple scuffs out uh, definitely a dead stock pair maybe if, if I had to say it all maybe somebody tried them on once but it ain't hit the ground at all so I like these um, to be honest, there was a Bait Snake 2.0 that released, I think, 2018. And that pair ended up with the, the patent leather going all the way around. To be real, I like that pair better because you're talking about taking inspiration from the Jordan 11. That pair definitely takes its inspiration all the way from the Jordan 11. Kind of like a Concord, for real, for real. And also inside of the sock liner instead of this uh i don't know what is this just regular cotton uh you actually get leather on the inside of the 2.0 i'll try to have some some shots of that showing how much better that shoe actually is so if you get an opportunity and you want to grab a bait if you can find the 2.0 i think it's better only thing that it doesn't have is the glow in the dark bottom which honestly I would rather have the more premium, like the, the patent leather all the way down on this panel, or well, from the toe all the way to this panel wrapped around, I think that's cold. And then the inside sock liner being leather, cold. Like to me, that would've been way better. Um, I'm not mad, I'm glad these was in my size. I might even buy another pair. I kinda wanna um, get another pair from GOAT. I think the guy who had these before, he did one of those Saran wrap, you know, they vacuum sealed because the the tongue and everything is more pressed in like it was vacuum sealed, like I said, but uh, that's not a big problem. Like I said, I'll probably, or I didn't say, but I'll probably end up stuffing it for a while to bring it back, you know what I mean? Maybe hitting it with a, a little bit of a blow dryer to let it take a new form after I stuff it in and get it back to normal. Actually, after I wear it a couple times, it'll probably be fine to be honest. But, yeah, man, I'm glad to have this pair. Uh, am I finished with the question, Miz? No, sir. Uh, coming up, I don't know the date, but sometime this week, early August, we got the, the Iverson slash Hardens dropping pretty soon here. Um, reaching back, I kind of want to grab that Georgetown question. Um, and another throwback question I think that dropped in 2016 that I want to grab if it stays uh, up on the resale site like I've seen it so there's that and then towards the end of the month of August we have the 
OG classic question, red toe and a suede, and I need those, you know what I mean? Ain't no point in me having a good collection of questions and I don't have, you know, one of the OG uh, colorways. So at least one, you know what I mean? Uh, hopefully also them doing the red toe and suede, they'll drop the blue toe and suede and I'll really have two OGs and some pretty clean collabs. So as of now, the Bubba Chuck, the bait question, and um, the review I did last, the year of the rat, great suede, dope. The Georgetowns will be fire. You know, I'm gonna try to pull the trigger on that if I can. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out from Nike. I really want to touch your ones. Anyways, we ramp. Uh, Till the next one, man. Thank y'all for checking this one out. Uh, and like I said, I appreciate y'all support. Uh, SHPN should be back this weekend. Shout out to me and my kicks, man. That's my brother. Shout out to King23 Kicks. That's my brother. Shout out to Alias. Shout out to uh, everybody showing love, man. I appreciate y'all. Until the next one, bruh. We out of this thing.